Alright guys, I have a really special treat for you. I'm here in Glasgow, right? Glasgow. Bon What's that? Bon Air. Bon Air, actually, in Kentucky. Outside of Glasgow, Kentucky. All right, and we have got uh, Cameron Bellamy of Bellamy Trees. It's a real special treat. We got to see uh, all the interesting rare fruit and just how things are done over here, way out in six. What's six B? Six A? Six B. Six B. It gets so cold over here. I mean, get in the negative uh, temperatures, and I mean that big cold front everybody got last year. We were we touched the negatives for about two days, solid, pretty much. Yeah, and then you know, it's just just imagine all the propane you have to pump into this just yeah, to keep so this going all the, our propane stored over here we got a thousand gallon uh, propane tank there and yeah. then i have two heaters on either side of the greenhouse yeah got one here and then one exactly like it on the other side yeah um this is an old tobacco greenhouse so designed for the there to be curtains on either side and you can roll them up and down I kind of inherited it after my family stopped doing tobacco so I've had to play with it each year during the winter time to <coughs> customize it to you know make it let everything in there survive so this year we used a bunch of plywood yeah put it up here with liquid nail screwed it in yep the top which you can kind of see it more right here it's two layers of plastic with insulate, ins inflation fan on the inside that yeah. separates them. You know, get you an, an air gap in there. Yeah. Uh, the heaters pretty much stay running 24/7 at night here. If the sun's out, even if it's two degrees, it's you know it's going to stay warm enough in there for everything <coughs> to survive. Yeah. Uh, but it's 120 feet long. Uh, I 30 or 40 feet wide. A bunch of pallets. So I stack all the plants on. Yeah. So right now he's you guys. Are, kind of catching us at a point where we're in the middle of transitioning from a winter phase back into spring um this is what we used originally was just this foam board but and it worked we used that on the sides it worked but you know it's not as resilient as the plywood and you can't really reuse it like you can the plywood plywood's more expensive up front but it beats you know it's cheaper to do that versus buying that foam board each time yeah i mean thousands of feet worth of that e or yeah. hundreds of feet worth of that a year yeah um because you know as this fan turns on here it sucks air from one side of the greenhouse to the other and when it does it compresses that that foam board and it just expands and goes in and out in and out in and out and eventually it's warped and you, can, you can't do anything with it after you it. Uh, some of the bigger trees don't look that great because again we cram everything inside for the winter uh, these are just a couple of them that didn't necessarily look the best i brought out early this is a blood orange and then this is a butterscotch sapodilla yeah or sapodilla how do you say it? sapodilla or something either way yeah yeah it's a brazilian guava yeah it's pretty uh, big yeah and then a ponderosa lemon there and then just a little lime tree yeah. a little lime tree there a little key lime yeah they're good to have i, I like having a tree yeah. having one of those it puts on fruit multiple times yep. a year so one of the bad things with this time of the year where we can still get uh nights where it's 32 degrees outside or lower so i keep these the boards up but the bad thing is during the day when it's 80 degrees like this it's probably what do you think 110 but <laughs> it's pretty warm in I mean, here it's burning up it's not 100 yeah it's, got, it's definitely it's, at 100 yeah it's it's up there but yeah. we're kind of renovating this space a lot of the a lot of my personal plants uh, were crammed in this area. This is where I do all the planting. And uh, we have some seeds here. Nice setup. Like uh, a yeah. little office desk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a bunch of seeds here. This wow. is all of our stock from the website. It's not all of it. Yeah. Just, you know, it's maybe 20 or 30% of the seeds we have right now. Of course, you know, it's the big time in Brazil. Where we're just finishing this, you know, their harvests yeah, and so. all that it, that seeds are going to start calming down some so i'm trying to get a bunch of stuff planted yeah. but you know it's hard working me and my fiance katie we we yeah. both work katie works hard i know time. she does yeah so she's here all the time oh yeah <laughs> there's a little scattered let's like, start up here and look at some of my personal yeah. trees <clears throat> i started out doing the tables ended up just saying 
not not dealing with all the cement blocks. I mean, if you look down there, I mean, it's filling this whole thing up with cement blocks is going to be horrible. So I just transitioned into pallets. Yeah. Definitely. Have some, some uh, community pots of various some species things. that the seeds then look the best. I threw them in there to see if they would live. This is that the blood uh, blood lime. Yeah, I yeah. got this from Logies. Yeah, it's grafted. That's, that's nice. Yeah, it's flowered. I don't think it's gonna fruit. I, it, I bet it will. I hope so. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, a lot, whenever it, whenever we have the walls up, yeah, and everything, some stuff doesn't get pollinated. So, this is. You know what this is? You grafted. Oh, this the four, the four cm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does so yours we'll, look good still? It's doing pretty good. Yours is about caught up the size of mine. Yeah, it's beautiful. I really like. It. I really like the leaves. Yeah. So we'll um, see what that turns out to be. This is one I got from Lance in Hawaii. I forget the name. Full up Pequena. Pequena, yeah. yeah. This is a giant sabra. The, oh. you know, the big giant sabra. For yeah. It. I got this from Kelly. Okay. It ran out of water and lost some leaves, but it's shooting back out. Oh. This is the sapuka from. Yeah. This came from Seeds Hunter Shop Salami. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of my stuff comes from him. Uh, this is that Mamoretto, the, the oh, oblongata. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess Pomerata, the suspected yeah. variant. They said it doesn't taste sour, it tastes sweet. Yeah. Some people have argued that. I saw I mean, uh, pictures posted recently. Those those were super huge. Yeah, fruit. right. Right. Yeah. This is the giant red crystal. Nice. This is an unknown guava. Well, it's not unknown. It's known. I got it from David Miller. He originally got it from the Seeds Hunter Shop. Okay. I don't know the name off the top of my head, and I didn't label it. I have a bad. He probably could uh, identify yeah, well, it. Well, I'll put it in the video. Yep. Uh, black navel. Yep. Black velvet. It's yeah, black, black velvet. velvet. Yeah. It's flushing. It has the prettiest flushes. Yeah. Do you have one of these? Yes. Yes. Is yours pretty big? Um. Yeah. It's it's pretty good size. This is a diamond tiana. Got this from John Travis Morton in oh, Florida. Cool. Shout out to Don John. Uh, Absolutely. Travis. Check out his eBay. <laughs> he has some of the best plants out there. Yeah. Uh, Bronco Mill. Nice. I think we bought these yeah. together, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we got a couple yeah. of those together. Um, Lemera, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Nice. That was, I originally bought this seed from James Farwell whenever he sold them. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, these are the Diva here. Oh, okay. Diva here. Those are cute. Marciaria. Yeah. Here. yeah. Did you get, I think this. I'm came from so it's Seeds Hunter Shop too. Yeah. Uh, wavy leaves. Wavy leaves, yeah. yeah. From the Valila collection. Yeah. I haven't seen anybody with, with many of the of this tree. That's true. I don't really see those ever pop up anymore. Yeah. Same with the Valila's backyard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have one of those. I think I have two of those. Yeah. I actually got seedlings of that. I didn't post them on my website for sale, but I will have seedlings for sale uh, uh -huh. hopefully this year. Well, they're sprouting, so I'll definitely have them. Oh. Perfectiana, yeah. Virginia. That's a nice People one. People love this plant. Like, it seems easy to grow. It is retaining its value as far as eBay goes. Yeah. And, I mean, it's just beautiful, and it's really easy to grow. Yeah. I've found. A lot of various seedlings. Most of my seed trays and seedlings and stuff, I've moved to the back side that has a better, uh, has a higher percentage of shade cloth on the other side. Yeah. So, I still keep some stuff up here just because I haven't, I haven't moved it back yet. Uh, on that back section some etsy plants i try to keep all the etsy stuff together yeah. it's a eugenia multi castata oh yeah i imported a yellow variety this year but this is the red uh -huh. i guess this is about a year old yeah, mercy, area. A, yeah. mercy area sp joinville yeah that joinville that's a pretty one yeah and it's, yours grew pretty fast it's beautiful ha, this is my favorite tree it's not even close people say it's related to the vexator uh -huh. the yasuni um the plenioids i think all of them are somewhat related they all create that you know that, that purple blue uh -huh. esalq one of my first plants i won off ebay i got this from i think Adam. uh this is from john travis morton uh it's the mukuri oh okay doctor's job that's a nice one We looked at this earlier. The it's Plenia SP Burgundy. Oh, Burgundy, yeah. Yeah. That's a cool one. And then you, you, this is another one that you gave me. Yeah, I think that's Erythrocarpa or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I need to, before you leave, we're going to yeah. go through those. I've got a couple other ones you sent me that I 
put it potted up and just have it you know labeled uh -huh. uh, you did this interesting graft here the yeah so i was just messing around and which i need to take some of these off uh -huh. but this is a plenia giant mulchy yeah right on sabra Sion, there, huh? on yeah. sabra that's yeah. cool and then this is a rosa de pascoco uh-huh <laughs> I had no business. I, honestly, whenever I did it, I didn't think either one of them were going to survive, to be honest. But they ended up both doing That's it. Nice. So I'm going to have to regraph this onto something else. And then I'll keep that the way it is. Mm -hmm. You pronounce this way better than I do. <laughs> There's another one from John Travis Morton. I'm telling you, his graphs are just yeah superior. He's got some great trees. He does, yeah. I mean, he probably... I got this from him maybe three or four months ago, and it was tiny. Yeah. These are a bunch of Abuangada, Mamaraka seedlings. Mm -hmm. And then behind you here, there's a ton of other seedlings. This is nursery stock. Nothing's categorized. Nothing is... It's all thrown in here randomly. Um, during eBay time, I just walk through here and pick out what I think looks the best. And yeah. What I haven't listed in a while. This is a Plenia Peruviana. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful one too with the fuzzy leaves. Yeah. I love this one. Yeah. I've got a really, really, really cool Eugenia back here that nobody has that has a really fuzzy leaf. I'll show you later. That's uh -huh. awesome. Oh, here's a giant one. I was going through some of my oh, cool. personal collection and I, I didn't have one, so I potted one up for my nursery. I'm going to keep it. Yeah. This year, I, I'd like to... So we had multiple greenhouses from the tobacco farming days. And I'm going to... We have one half this size. It's the same width, but it's only 60 feet long. I'm going to set it up for my personal collection. Um, I'm just, I've got to, there, I've got too much stuff and it's taking up room and I've got too many seedlings to plant. Yeah. These are some Pingo de Mel, Grimichama. Mm hmm I think it's exciting. You know what that is? It's the, um, I know the, the, I know the name, yeah, one. I know the name of it. Labaniza or something? Yeah. It's a Eugenia. I couldn't, I, it's hard to say that name, but It is, yeah. yeah, but the leaf pattern is so unique. Oh, yes. I've got another one coming up. I only oh. had five seeds. Oh, there's, an, they're all, they oh, the three okay. are coming up. Cool. So hopefully I can at least list one of those. I'm definitely going to keep one for myself. Mm -hmm. I'd like to put one up on eBay. There's a bunch of citrus seeds oh, yeah. from you. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to make it. And as far as these trays go, you might have one tray that's all one species. Like what is that? Neomatranthus jimbale. Wow. I that came from that Fabio was. Longden in Brazil. Yeah. This one might have, you know, each one of these lines is oh. different species yeah. on each one. We're, we're probably growing like at least 300 different species of seeds right now. And all this stuff has got to be up potted by hand and put somewhere. So yeah. that's going to be fun. Um, there's a big flowering Red, red hybrid, yeah. yeah. And then there's a beach kombucha behind it. That's a pretty one. Um, <clears throat> purple forest guava. Mm -hmm. One of them. Eugenia SP Big. Oh, okay. And this is my first Eugenia. It's actually fine. It's about to really go off. Yeah. It's the Patanga tuba. Yeah, those are pretty easy to grow. Yeah, this one, it's or, pretty much wise. Yeah. Small fruit. People say they're astringent, not sweet. That one was. It was the first couple times it's fruited, so who knows? This is just some random pineapple. Uh -huh. Really rare Eugenia from John Travis Morton that I have yet to label. Blue Guacquier. That's a nice size one. Yeah. That's probably close to flowering. They don't, you don't have to get too big before they flower. I've seen people have them flower early, yeah. Like yeah. really young, which yeah. is cool. Oh, so we need to look at, uh, let's get that Eugenia Observa. Okay. Uh, C-O-B-A-B-A-N-E-S-I-S. -S -S yeah, come on. Yeah. I remember that one. And this is the Angus Tissima. Yep. It's the only one I have. I have a bunch of seedlings, but I'm just gonna keep that one. Yeah. More seedlings, nothing too exciting there. This is where I keep all of the current eBay stock. So yeah. whenever I list stuff on eBay, I take it home and photograph it, bring it back here, yeah. let it hang out in the sun. And then as we, <clears throat> people pay and auctions end, we'll come in here and get them and uh, package them and ship them out. And also direct orders stay here. Yeah. Try to leave everything centralized because sometimes I'm not the one that does the shipping, so I'll leave it in an area where whoever is doing the shipping for me that week can find them. Yeah. All right, we had to take a little intermission. It got so hot. Um, I mean, it was steaming hot. It was like 
probably 100 something I had my work clothes and on. like <laughs> yeah and like 200 percent humidity so um i took some shots earlier of the you know greenhouse and stuff in this part of the greenhouse but um we in the meantime we did a little grafting some air layers uh katie was helping out too and um yeah we're just gonna take one more quick pan around and i wanted to thank them both for having me stop thank by you, and um some gifts yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure those, uh, rare. yeah um just to think like what two and a half three years ago we kind of like yeah, connected through ago, i bought an anomaly yeah for 400 bucks that was my first plenty i ever bought the virginia free grower had a video on it reached out to him about it and then bought some seeds put them in four trays yeah. sell those Doubled up, sold those, tripled up, sold those, and now I'm... <laughs> and now look at this. Miserable. <laughs> look at this, miserable. <laughs> no, see, this. the thing and is, I, um, I mean, in, I, we've talked about it before, like, in the last two, three years, the, the amount of species and just diversity that we've you've been able it's, to bring... It's never-ending. Yeah, at into... At least, probably in the last two or three years, I've imported, has to be over 400 species. Yeah. Has what? to be. Yeah, I mean, it just I mean, and prior to that, we just had like what, just a couple of things like just Suriname cherry, cherry the Rio Grande, mm -hmm. maybe two or three different uh, varieties of Jabo, maybe ten or whatever. But now yeah. there's what I don't know. Now it's just hundreds. too much to keep up with almost. <clears throat> so, but it's cool because everybody gets you know we get to see and grow all this stuff from Brazil and South America, wherever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so now it's a Kentucky. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Kentucky. <laughs> yep. And going to Florida, California, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, Japan, right? Japan, everywhere. China, Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Sold seats to Russia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing. But yeah. Well, thanks again. And uh, sure, thank you. Um, yeah, thanks for your hospitality. I'll, I'll see you guys. Yep. All see right. you guys. Thank you.